Please sit back and enjoy this short film celebrating the fruits of the countryside. We film a great bunch of lads walking up on the moor in search of several species of game in season, whilst our other cameraman captures the thrill of the driven parties and pheasant shooting. All filmed on the mighty Whitfield estate. <laughs> And you know that today, one of the things we're doing today is to um, show that game is food, and it's very good food. They're, they're doing the same thing, but on a bigger scale, international scale, trying to get game ab abroad again. So that, I think, has a very good chance of being successful. It's already well distributed across the UK at the minute and going strong. The Country Food Trust has decided, um, again, that donations are a good thing, but they're, they're growing from three counties in the south at the minute, and they're very strong. I don't know what three counties they are, but they're looking for ambassadors in the north, and it's gradually moving up. But they want to, this year, if they can, feed one million people with game. That's good PR, yeah, and it moves game. Start off on just partridge. There'll be an odd pheasant in it. And then we're going to come on to a mixed drive, and then we're going to wait and see what we do after that. A full day, we're going to stop roughly halfway through the day and have a venison pie and some sausages. Game sausages, would you believe? Mm -hmm. Well, some pork. No, lad. Then we're going to go out, we're going to go to the top end this afternoon, where there is one very good drive, you know, at Crook Bridge. It's mm -hmm. good for early season. One of the problems is 1st of October, pheasants have never been driven, a lot of cover. So we're going to go where we can show some good birds early season, okay? First drive, Lord Grigg. Uh, wind's picked up a bit, which will I'll absolutely cheer Stuart up. Because he does like to uh, to beat the guns and he likes a bit of wind to do it in. I'd like to say as well, this is part of our uh, game to the table uh, episode where uh, we've got one of the local chefs in here who's, uh, who's actually going to do uh, a game bird barbecue. So it's all part of showing and proving that, you know, game is a, a very useful meat and delicious if one knows how to cook it. What a pleasure to see Diggory Haddock put his old side-by-side -side hammer gun to good use on these fast little partridge. Nice to see the modern and the antique guns still working together in the field. Just at the second drive now. Um, I've just asked a, a beater, a, a flagger, sorry, what to the call this drive, and unfortunately I can't hear him probably because of the wind. The wind's really gold now, which will cheer Stuart up. Absolutely uh, ideal conditions for showing high birds now, and difficult birds as well. But the fair smattering of passes in a, a few pheasants.
I saw you pull some fantastic passes down there, AB. Yeah, sure, was well, well done, well pleased with yeah. that guy. That bloody passes that you pulled out at Sky it must have been got to be a good 70 yards that easy. Plus. And on that wind, yeah, curling. Yeah, plus. yeah, well shot, mate. Yeah, serious well, 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 Pleasure to see yeah, you there, mate. Jackie Absolute Bruce. pleasure. Thank you. Is this your first time at uh, Whitfield Jail? No, I've shot here 10 years ago. Have you? Yeah. yeah. And the beauty about it is fetch some lovely wine with him. And, <laughs> and some, of the, <laughs> hey, some of the best wild boar shots I've ever tasted. It's a family recipe. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. And, the, and the deer, the yeah. um, dried deer. Yeah, beautiful that. But yeah. If you shoot it, you've got to yeah. eat it. In this scene, we flick to the walked up part of the film. These lads had the hardest job, as they were tasked with procuring as much varied game as possible for the barbecue lunch. They did not let us down and came back with several in-season species that made for a wonderful meal, as you will see later. When Britain was deforested and, and, and turned over to agriculture, the only areas that weren't cleared, that were left for wild game, yeah. were the royal hunting forests. That's right, that's so, correct. So yeah. the places yeah. that the, the, the game survived and the, envir the natural environment was allowed to persist were, were only areas that were yeah. kept for hunting. And there's, well, they have been the original game reserves. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And people forget this. You look at all the game reserves in Africa, they were all started by hunters. People are putting big yeah. ranches together, yeah. letting the natural animals yeah. just proliferate. And they do very well in the, in the ecosystem because they're yeah. designed for it. And you shoot off the surplus at 25% a year. And it's totally sustainable. They're always talking about getting kids out in the countryside and doing healthy things and getting them away from their Xboxes. Yeah. And there's nothing better than ferreting and shooting and fishing and stuff yeah. to do that. Very interesting, you know, very interesting <laughs> person and the, the, the best advocate we've got on that TV. You've got to keep trying, <laughs> haven't you, Dave? <laughs> Third drive at Whitfield, Crook Bridge. I can remember shooting this the first time I ever came to Whitfield. It was absolutely blowing a gale. And I, I suppose this is where my Love of Ibert shooting began really here.
End of the day at Whitfield now, and as you can see, all the the beaters they all take home a bracer uh, game, pheasant or partridge, and this is what it all entails. Everybody uh, goes home with something. What's your name? Dale. Dale. Dale's the man who does the dishing out. <laughs> does all the dishing. Yeah. And does everybody take a brace home, Dale? Yeah. Yeah. You make sure everybody's got a brace. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's fantastic food, isn't it? Straight off the... Can I get any wilder? You can't get any wilder than that, you know. It's uh, straight off out of the woods. Been roaming free for nine months, hasn't it? Yeah, beautiful birds as well. Yeah, well feathered. No, you can't justify what we're doing if you can't eat it, can you? you can't exactly, justify it. You can't exactly. You can't justify it to anybody, no. can you? You, yeah. can't, you can't even justify yeah. it to yourself, No, can you? you can't, no. But, it, but it's, it's nice to see everybody gets a share of the spoils. You know. Oh, everybody Everybody, everybody that's everybody. involved with the estate takes home a brace of game. This is what we've been waiting for. Well done, boys. Right, what we got here? We've been waiting for the uh, the yeah. five important species. Seven, actually, because we've got a pigeon as well. We've yeah. got a pigeon. Yeah. So we've got pigeon. We've got a bracer mallard. 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 Yeah. We've got teal. Teal? Oh. Teal's the brown face. There you go. Here's the teal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well done, lads. And a, pair of, a bracer grouse. Yeah. Very well done. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. We've only been waiting two hours for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, marvellous. Well done, lads. It's a fantastic yeah. day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's a partridge for you today. Oh, thanks yeah. very much, mate. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Process game. Isn't yeah. It? Beautiful. Yeah, fantastic day as well, uh, Stuart. Very well. You can have as much yeah. in the feather as you'd like as well. Yeah. The bird's been out in a natural yeah. environment for a long yeah. part of its life. Yeah. And, and, I, and we eat it. Yeah. And I've always, I've always sold it as one thing, mate. It's a health food. Yes, it is. Yeah. You, know, you can't yeah. say anything. Very good you cannot say anything other than that. Yeah, it's like very, catching very a fish good. out of that river, yeah. which you I have to cut it down. The only one, the only thing that's let us down because we were, we, were, we were getting everything for the for the table today is Stuart. He couldn't catch a I fish couldn't today. Catch a salmon, I admit it. Sorry. And he wouldn't I'm go. He, he wouldn't go to. I tell him to go to the fish shop and buy one, but he wouldn't no, go that, to the. Not the same. He won't go to the fish shop and buy one. I couldn't do it. He's a man of his word. Every bit of game that's going to be eaten today. We've actually gone wild. and shot it today, yeah, and, and that's how we've yeah. done it. We're just going to go through the game that we are eating and what it's been turned into. The first this is one, we've got a, a pheasant casserole here with button mushrooms, onions, beautiful rich sauce, absolutely delicious. Tender, looks unbelievable. That. Tender pheasant. Yeah, unbelievable. Then we're moving on to uh, some sausages made from pigeon and venison. With uh, with onions, absolutely delicious again. And this is all out of the field, of course, Mark. Isn't it? All that's been all everything is all been... everything from the estate. Mm. So we've got uh, some beautiful fillet of that, that's uh, roe deer, isn't roe deer yeah. which is absolutely melt in the mouth and it's going very quickly as you can see and it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. So there we go, that's it there. And uh, we've got grouse in the most delicious honey Hey Tony, have you got any grouse? And the grouse is coming any second now. What's a meal like? 
fantastic. Straight from the field. Absolutely fantastic. My doctor's told me to cut down on red meat because I've got high cholesterol, but I don't think he means game because there's no cholesterol in it. It's brilliant for it? It's, it? It is a total helpful. It's, it's thanks to these lads as well. We've got the, yeah. the six or seven species that we were after. <laughs> well done, boys. Thank you. Well done. Andy, what's it like? Melts in the mouth. Lovely, lovely. Best, best meat you can eat. Yeah. Proper healthy for one. Yeah. And Tony, our fantastic chef of the moment, who was, who was a natural gentleman to volunteer his services today, and he's fully qualified game chef. <laughs> Has everybody enjoyed the dinner? Yes. Yes. I'd, like, I'd like everybody to fantastic. give a round of applause oh, for the most fantastic food we've well had today. Done, Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely well fantastic. Well done. You, were you, were, you were telling me early on that this is all British wine. It is British wine and I feel quite strongly about it. Yeah. That we're supporting our industry and we should support our producers. Now, with some of the wine is not as good as it could be, but the sparkling wine it's, so it's world beaters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. and, and, and this is from Devon. The, the, shooting, the, the shooting return is notorious for being big wine drinkers. Well, and I, we've tasted this earlier and it was fantastic. And I get, you know, you see Seco or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And what you say, it's 99 green. pence a bottle. 99p a bottle. <laughs> 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 <Two fists. laughs> but it's made in Devon. That is it. This is the one that we had yeah, early on. Today, yeah. Oh, it's brilliant! It's beautiful, that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, perfectly balanced. Yeah. Well, that's some of the most fantastic food I've ever tasted today, and every bit of that's been locally sourced. It's all from the estate. Locally sourced, and we've killed it, cooked it, and we've ate it, and everybody's going home. Enjoyed happy. it. We're going to get drunk when I get home. <laughs> now, Rachel, I know your your father very well. He's a yeah. excellent shot, your dad. I've been. I mean, one of my opponents for a lot of years now. Yeah. And I know you were a, a shooting girl. What made you actually want to uh, photograph the country sport? Brought I've you into it? I've enjoyed it. I've always yeah. loved being out there, whether it's shooting myself yeah. or just being part of the day yeah. and being able to capture what is so special yeah. about it. I've always yeah. like, really and, enjoyed I mean, I've seen some of your work, because you, you have helped us out before, and some of your work is outstanding. Well, uh, I mean, next week or two, we should see some indeed, proceeds of the of the day from you, and yep. uh, that'd be lovely. That and thank you once again for uh, for coming thank and, and helping us out. That'd be brilliant. Yeah, that. Thank you.